with Navratri to begin in a few days time. I'm totally getting prepared what to eat, what to wear. And when you're gifted a beautiful sari from your sweet co-sister, it becomes even more special. This came in as a present from Sunita Ka, my very sweet co-sister who cooks amazing food and always packs generously in bulk with lots of love for us to carry back home. And she has also presented this Ilkel Sire, a nice, bright, beautiful color with a contrast border. This kind of particular sari is quite popular these days, which is an authentic sari from North Karnataka. And here is a very gorgeous gift set from Giftlist. They have an amazing collection on their site from necklace, bracelet, rings, earrings, ear cuffs, anklets, pendants to jewelry sets as well. This box includes a fine jewellery set including a necklace and a bracelet. Beautifully packed and wrapped making it just perfect to gift your dear ones or to treat yourself because you know you're worth it. The pinnacle of luxury and sophistication crafted with 18k gold vermeil, each piece features stunning tiger eye, silver scallop and black agate stones. Uh, which combine to create an ultra stylish and timeless look. Treat yourself to the ultimate in elegance, symbolizing wealth and success. With Navratri, Tasera, and Diwali approaching, this is just the right time to look into their site as there are plenty of options to choose from. Um, they have a site wide sale of 20% off, so make sure to use my discount code LOVE20. What I love the most about this design with all the colors that match bringing joy in wearing and still carries the simple and elegant look that I can carry it easily for the whole day without feeling heavy. And also, I love having such jewelry collection in my wardrobe that I can easily match it up with my Indian sari to salwar kameez to western dresses and casual jeans as well. I'm leaving a link for you all so make sure to check out their website and also use the discount code for 20% off. I have these Samrani cups that Sunitaka gave me as I was in love with their fragrance. Lighting them up just like incense sticks. We also call it as Sambrani, Dhup, Loban, uh, made from natural herbs mixed with charcoal, clearing negative energy and provides optimism. It is a religious practice which also deeply combines purifying the environment and creating positive aura and also helps to begin all the new things on every day with optimism. It's soothing, relaxing your mind, body and soul. Uh, with Navratri fasting to begin soon, I thought this would be the right video to share with some of the easiest recipes that you could make at home. Now, very important to know, every region uh, follow things differently, every home have their own traditions. But I am just generalizing the fasting recipes for today. If you do not eat any of these ingredients, alter them to what would be suitable for you. I am using fruits, dry fruits, barnyard millets, potatoes. Sweet potatoes, chickpeas, sala channa, carrots, sesame oil, which is yellow and rock salt for today's uh, cooking. I'm not using garlic, ginger, onions, turmeric, or green chilies. First thing first, I have set barnyard millet to cook, which will take around 12 minutes time. I've had washed and soaked them in water for six hours time, and then I chop in a large sweet potato. I'm also chopping five medium-sized potatoes into cubes that I'm going to set them in the air fryer for 15 minutes time at 190 degrees temperature. Millet is cooked now. In the mixi jar, uh, I first grind the unsalted pistachios into coarse powder and then I keep it aside. And then continue using the same mixi jar with around 6 cashews. 6 almonds, 6 pecan to grind into a powder. Now into the same mixi jar, I am going to add in 3 figs which is dried anjeer. They already are naturally sweet so you do not need any kind of uh, sweetener to make things uh, to make this barfi. So it's very healthy, it's very organic. You can either make them into balls but I like to give them a square shape by pressing its sides and pinching the corners. Now to make dry fruit milkshake, I have two cashew nuts, 
two almonds, two dates soaked in uh, oats milk overnight and measuring two shooter glasses of oat milk and then I add in a teaspoon of honey to make dry fruit milkshake. The, it is thick, it is heavy that can fill you up instantly during your Navratri fast. I keep it refrigerated until it's time to eat and enjoy this drink. I chop the sweet potatoes in chunks and it's absolutely okay if it mashes up. Many a times most of us have this mindset that Vrat Ka Khana, Navratri fasting food is only for fasting days. Actually, all these recipes that I'm showing today, uh, that I'm cooking today are filled up with proteins and goodness that you can make them at around any time of the day for tea time or as a filling breakfast on regular days as well. So in a pan, I have a teaspoon of sesame oil, half a teaspoon of cumin seeds, which is jeerke, boiled and ready to eat black chana and sweet potatoes, adding in just rock salt to finish off. Aloo sabzi can be made like this, uh, needing very little of oil, jeera and air fried potatoes and salt, saving up cooking time and saving up plenty of oil as well while cooking. I have a tin of kabuli chana which is ready to eat and I have grated two carrots, half a tin of chana that I add into the carrots, two tablespoons of yogurt and rock salt that I mix and combine to make this raita. I have cooked banyard millet uh, and I am adding in one full pomegranate and plenty of yogurt with salt that's it. We want it to be nice and slurry. Any kind of fresh fruits are always a must to have and added into the festive platter. So I cut one large uh, mango into large chunks and keep them aside and with the remaining fruit I finely chop them. Now to make a fruit and dry fruit millet uh, with a tablespoon of sesame oil a teaspoon of jeera, cumin seeds, handful of dry fruits of your choice. I have added in cashew nuts, almonds and bacon and raisins. And then I add in the fresh mango pieces, adding in cooked barnyard millet. This is one cup measurement of millet that will need two and a half cups of water to be cooked. I combine them well by just adding in salt. If you are allowed to eat chilli flakes or chilli powder then you can add in so. I have four medium sized potatoes uh, boiled that I am mashing them up to make sabudana tali petu. I have a cup of sabudana that I had washed and soaked in water for six hours time. Combining half of them to the potato mash, adding in a tablespoon of peanut powder a teaspoon of red chilli flakes. I felt I could add in all of the sabudana after combining. Adding in salt and you see the potatoes is nicely holding all of the mixture together. I make balls and keep them ready using my roti pressing machine in which way it will be a lot easy to press the tali petu, compressing the sabudanas and which will hold them uh, firmly with the other mixture. I spray a little oil in between the two butter sheets and placing the balls and flattening it down with gentle pressure and then turning the sheet from all four sides. So here we have the tali petu ready. Fast, easy and tasty. That I am very much looking forward to eat them on regular days as well. It's that good. I love to offer all the food that has been cooked to God. So this thali has to be special in every way. I have rose petals and leaves and when it comes to offering, it's not just the food but flowers and lots of love as well. This Navratri thali with so many recipes that are so simple to make but taste absolute divine. That's the beauty of festive food. No onions, no garlic, no ginger, no masalas included. Natural flavors, few ingredients is all that you will need to make it complete. And the best part of these recipes are they are protein packed for a healthy diet and healthy living that you can incorporate them in your daily diet. So in today's platter we have carrot chana raita, sweet potato chana mash, aloo ki sabzi, millet pomegranate yogurt, dry fruit milkshake for which I sprinkle in pistachio powder on top, mango chunks, anjeer barfi, sabudana tali petu, mango millet chitrana. So happy with the way it has turned out and I really hope you found this video informative and useful. 
I'm sure just the way I'm getting ready for the festivities to begin, you all are getting prepared as well. So happy shopping at Gift List and make sure to save this video for your Navrati fasting ideas.